everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Now today, this is something a little different that I'm going to do today. Uh, normally, you would get a breakdown of a new game and I would talk more about, you know, uh, knowing the game and how excited I am to play it or, or, or talk about some of the plays that I've already had with this, this game. But today, we're going to be talking about Nemesis Lockdown. Now, I have the original Nemesis and um, I painted it up and uh, read all the rules, understand it, watched a couple playthroughs and stuff like that, and have a very dangerous understanding of the game. Um, when this came out of uh, retail, I decided to go get it. So let's open it up. I'm just gonna show you what's inside, uh, see if there's anything different. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back up and I, I, I've got some questions for you because I really need them answered because you know, like everybody else, I have limited time too. And I need to know what I should do. So let's go down to the table, take a look what's inside, okay? And then come back and I've got a whole series. So we're gonna take a look quick at what you get in Nemesis Lockdown. This is the retail version. Uh, I decided to get this even though I have the first one and we'll talk more about that on the way out. But I kinda wanna show you if you're interested in getting this. Uh, what you're going to be getting, uh, you're going to be getting room cards, which is going to explain all the different rooms that you're going to be uh, negotiating. Uh, you got your laboratory sheet, uh, and of course, you are going to have your massive board, which I'm going to lay and out. The board is massive, as I've laid it out. Uh, wow, look at that. Now, this is this takes place a little differently. It is on. It looks like it's on a base. So that's kind of cool. And you're waiting for people to come rescue. A little different from the first one when you are on a ship. And on the other side of the board, as you can see, this is kind of like an underground, uh, you kind of have like underground base type of thing uh, from, from the looks of it. And you know, you're gonna be laying out all your tiles here and they're going to be making your different rooms and how you're going to negotiate all that. So let's go back up top. Well, back up top, and I'm going to show you the rest of everything that you get, including the stars of our show here. You'll be able to play as a whole bunch of different people, hackers, sentry, lab rats, and they're just tons and tons of survivors. Uh, the janitor, which is really kind of cool, and tons of different tiles that you're going to be laying out that are going to give you a different variance for this game. The real stars of, the, of, of, of this, this game, of course, is the miniatures because after all, it is a, an Awakening Realms game and they just specialize in beautiful, beautiful miniatures. Uh, as you can see here, these are just, just like the first, the first game, there are just some really, really creepy and unique looking creatures. Uh, the molds are a, a little bit different than the first one. I actually kind of like these a little bit better. And then here's one of our, our heroes here that you can play as. Uh, you can play this by yourself or uh, semi-cooperatively. Of course, you know, after being years in space, you know, things don't always go the way <clears throat> you hope it would. Uh, <clears throat> on the bottom here, there are a couple of even bigger and beautiful miniatures that are just absolutely fantastic and look like they are going to be glorious to paint. Uh, beautifully done. Awakening Realms never disappoints with their miniatures. That's why these Kickstarters do so well because those miniatures are absolutely beautiful. You're going to get mounds and mounds of cards which I don't want to bore you to death with um, and then uh, you know you're going to get all these different fantastic rooms. Some of them are a little different from from the original uh, version of course but we're going to go up and we're going to go talk about uh, this. Of course, you want your card holder, right? Um, and we're going to go up and uh, talk about this. So let's head on top and talk about Nemesis Lockdown. Do you really need it? Does it replace the first one? Or are these two different experiences? Now, I could sit here and, and probably fake or, or, or go, oh, yeah, I've played the regular Nemesis a few times and this, that, and the other. Uh, honestly, I painted it, and I've yet to play it. It's the God's honest truth. Why lie to you, okay? Um, I, I've watched a few playthroughs. 
I've I've been interested to get into the table. Uh, I even painted it, you know, fully and the expansions. And I'm wondering to myself, how, you, know, you know, should I play? Should I get it to? Should I get it to the table before I play lockdown and, and paint that up? Uh, do I did I really need lockdown? Was having the regular nemesis enough? Does lockdown? It looks like it adds uh, that you are at a a station this time instead of a spaceship. Do you need to have both? Is lockdown better than the regular nemesis? Should I go right to lockdown? Should I should I get rid of my regular nemesis? Okay. Um, and, and just stick with lockdown. Is lockdown a better and an improvement to uh, what is a very popular game? So, or do I need to play them both? These are questions that I'm asking you because I could sit here and try to flub my way through it. And listen, you guys are pretty smart, okay? Uh, the, the audience out there is very smart. You know when people are flubbing you and, and telling you, oh, yeah, you, you know, you can do this. And, you know, you could read a bunch of rules and then, you know, say, I really like this game, this, that, and the other. Listen, I bought this game because the first one was fun to paint. It looked like a ton of fun. I couldn't wait to get it to the table. And I didn't. You know, always something would pop up. Just like everything else, folks. Just like everything else. So I ran out and when I saw lockdown, uh, Nemesis Lockdown, I said, wow, you know, everybody's talking about this. Why don't I get it in and then, you, you know, I'll give these both a try. Or do I need to give them both a try? And that's the question that I pose to the audience and the people that have, have played this and are more experienced at it. And I think it's, it, it'll help me determine what I need to put on the channel is... Do I start with lockdown or should I go back and do the first one and then go into lockdown? So I pose that to you guys. We took a look at the re retail version that I got. Um, unfortunately, my box came split, but you know, a little tape fixes everything, whatever. I don't, I don't sweat those things. Some, that would make some people absolutely insane. But for me, it's not a big deal. Uh, Awakening Realms always puts out really good stuff and uh, uh, like I said, uh, it, it's it's not me going. Oh, you don't need this. It's me asking, what what is the consensus? What do you guys feel out there? And that's what I'm going to go on and read the comments. So let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll go from there. So there you have it. A, a quick look at, at Nemesis Lockdown and some questions for you guys that hopefully you can answer and help me along the way. Until next time, it's your old power up. We'll see you soon.